Oh, Dark Souls. Souls games can be pretty dang intimidating, and even the discussions around these games can be pretty intimidating. This video comes from a place of love where I really believe a lot of RPG gamers would end up adoring these games if they gave them a shot. Now, just from watching them alone, it could scare someone off, or from the obnoxious discussions that result from the difficulty from these games. Now, these games aren't always obnoxiously difficult, right? They're just challenging in general. So today, I wanted to give my best advice and give you guys five Souls games that I really believe are the best beginner friendly most accessible and in general you may have a fantastic time after giving one of these a shot let's get into it now for the first three i'm going to start with just from soft titles a lot of people are going to want to go into the original dark souls games or basically any of them made by from software because they were the ones that actually started this so the first one funny enough is actually elden ring Elden Ring is so dang accessible and it's gotten to such a big point that the discussion around it may blur it out, but Elden Ring has the most tools at your disposal to make the game easier. You could grind better than you've ever been able to grind in previous Souls games. There's the most variety in weaponry to just make an absolutely OP build. I wouldn't suggest looking online for builds, I would just go at your own pace and figure out what you want to do, but at the same time, if you get stuck, there is plethora of informative videos out there to show broken builds. You have summons where you could summon all sorts of different spirits to help you out in battle. A lot of people use the mimic tier. And in general, you could still have your friends or an NPC aid you in battle. Elden Ring arguably has the toughest bosses, but with all the tools I just mentioned, I genuinely think this game is the most accessible in the series, and it's why it's blown up to the way it is. I know a bunch of people who aren't very good at video games, and they love this game. They've only gotten a quarter of the way through, but they're just like, I'm loving my time. So take your time with it, go at your own pace, discover what you want, and don't be afraid to use the tools that the game gives you. You don't have to go in and solo every boss like an average souls player you know what i mean play the game how you want to play it enjoy your time the next game on the list that i think is really beginner friendly is actually dark souls one if you're like an og you want to start kind of at the beginning now i know demon souls is at the beginning but unfortunately demon souls is only on the playstation 3 and the playstation 5 right now so it's not very accessible even if a little bit beginner friendly so dark souls one i would love to put on here because genuinely i think the beginning is going to be a little bit rough but once you get the hang of it it is not that bad and you're going to be destroying these bosses these are not the obnoxious speedy 12 hit combo from elden ring like these guys if you find a decent build get a big old shield you're going to be able to take on these bosses i honestly think the areas are going to be a tougher aspect of this game but in general take your time go at your own pace and i genuinely think if you could get past the hump and basically get to an orlando in dark souls one you may be in for a ride because if you end up beating this game you're probably going to be addicted and go on to souls 2 dark souls 3 you know what i mean so yeah i really think just starting at dark souls is a fantastic spot the third one on the list unfortunately is going to be if you have a playstation 4 and that is bloodborne i just can't help but put it on this list because the beginner friendly aspect is so good with this game not that it's easy but the amount of friends that i have personally that have started with bloodborne and got them in the souls games is pretty dang high i think one aspect is the blood vials like you could just go to the beginning areas and farm heals up to to like 99 and that helps a lot of people who aren't good with the estus flask and be limited to heals right they could just go grind make their character pretty strong and at the same time they'll also have extra souls for blood vials and all that stuff so i think that's actually why bloodborne becomes a little easier for people to start so i definitely want to put it on here and also you dodge a lot and you parry a lot so it kind of teaches you both the hardcore mechanics of most of the souls games and what you're going to be doing in combat so i gotta put bloodborne here please can we get an updated port so everyone could play it on pc or whatever console it is at higher frame rates please now the number four spot we're going to get into the non from software titles and these are way easier trust me they're going to be a lot easier for you to get into and they're still really fun and have a lot of the base mechanics a lot of these souls games will have so maybe you could get into these and then you'll want to try out the actual dark souls games or in general if you're an action rpg fan these are fantastic games and just might challenge you a little bit more so this number four spot is wo long fallen dynasty from team ninja 
So this takes place in the era of the Three Kingdoms of China, and when you're going through this game, you have a lot of party members the whole time, so that helps you out a lot, and this game is very parry heavy, so it's going to teach you a lot of the mechanics of a lot of the newer, faster Souls games, and in general, it's just a good medium difficulty pace, right? It's not going to destroy you, but some of the bosses will definitely kick your ass, so Wo Long is usually very cheap these days as well, so you're not going to be spending a lot of money. It's on almost every single platform, so I really recommend Wo Long if you're an action RPG fan looking to get into maybe a beginner friendly Souls game. Now the number five spot is honestly the least expected one probably which is Thymesia. So this is an indie title that I think is sweet and to the point. It's got parrying, it's got dodging, it's got a lot of cool mechanics on its own where you copy all the enemy's weapons and could basically use a bunch of different types of weapons in soul form and in general I think this game is just very fun and the fact that it's a very short experience and it's not a lot of money you're going to be able to kind of see how a souls game is because this one kind of replicates more so blood born and dark souls one and you'll get the support and in indie games so i think this was another great one to put on the list thymesia if you ever see it around i actually have the physical of this game so you could definitely find a copy out there if you don't want it digitally but this is a very short one that's going to kind of get you the ropes in each of the mechanics in those areas so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe got a little bit of knowledge if you're a newbie and you want to get into these games i genuinely think these are all fantastic for newcomers and a lot of rpg fans may find a game they absolutely love and get totally addicted if you end up trying one of these out so yeah i hope you guys are having a fantastic day be sure to leave me comments and questions about souls games or anything particular in that and i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you very soon peace